Alright, indirect measurement is really cool. Actually, um, the first, what we would call a scientist now, or uh, what they would call then a philosopher, um, Thales, uh, over 2,000 years ago, figured out the heights of the Great Pyramids in Egypt by using indirect measurement. Anyway, a little, little historical side note for you there. Um, indirect measurement uses the properties of similar triangles to calculate distances that would otherwise be difficult or impossible to measure directly. So um, here I have something less less exalted than a pyramid. So say like you wanted to measure the height of a tree and maybe the tree is very tall so it's just impractical to, to, to climb to the top and you know drop a tape measure uh, down it or maybe it's just there's too many branches you can't just get a good read on on, on its actual height. So um, what you could do is you could use the fact that the sun would create the um, same angles here to where um, basically these two objects would create similar triangles where this is the same angle as this, this is the same angle as this, and these are both 90 degree angles. Um, hence, since uh, similar triangles have so, um, corresponding sides that are proportional to each other, if you measure the much smaller, easier to measure object, like, I don't know, this bright green neon glowing thing here. It's, say you like you can measure that so you know exactly how tall that is and you can measure how long its shadow is. All I would need to know is how long the shadow of the tree is, which would be easier to measure the actual tree. Then I could just figure out, just using similar triangles, I could figure out how tall the tree is. So that's called indirect measurement. Um, you're, not, you're not directly measuring the thing that, that you want to get the height of, but you're using the, the properties of similar triangles to figure out what it would have to be mathematically.